Hello, welcome back to the channel. Uh, if you are new here, welcome. And if you are returning, hello, it's very nice to see you. So, yes, new me. Um, I felt like it was time for a little change. And yeah, so today's video is going to be something fun. Uh, this was uh, something I've been kind of thinking about, wanting to share, especially as I'm on this like very transformative, kind of in a transformative place right now in a uh, turning point. So I wanted to share some thing things that I wish they told me about spirituality. Fully, if you're just starting your spiritual journey, this will help you kind of uh, get an idea of this path and the things that will come along when it comes to this path. And yes, so without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so first thing that I wish they told me about spirituality before I began this journey is that uh, the healer heals the healer and by this I mean you know if you resonate as a healer or someone who shares healing energy with the collective with people in your environment if you just resonate as a healer oftentimes there really is no one else to heal the healer uh, except for uh, the other healers Sometimes this can cause for this journey, this path, to feel very isolating and um, almost like you're kind of alone a lot uh, and like you are depending on yourself to heal your wounds so that you can heal those that need to be healed and you know the healer uh, needs someone, they need people to resonate with, they need people to relate with, uh, and to just be on that same, the same page, uh, instead of always, like, pouring into other people's cups and feeling like they don't really get much back. That's something that I wish they told me, that, you know, the healer is the one that heals the healer, and no one else can really do that. And that that will lead to sometimes feeling very lonely and very isolated, but that's just a part of being on this spiritual journey. Uh, the second one is that everyone experience, everyone's experience is different. So come to realize this, you know, as I go on my journey and I meet other people and I share my experiences, it's really important to remember that everyone has a different experience, especially when it comes to the experiences that they encounter with their spiritual team, the very deep, deep spiritual experiences that we have. Everyone has them on different levels in different aspects. And, you know, sometimes we share our experiences with others and, you know, they can relate and sometimes will share experiences and people probably think that you're crazy or some of the things that you share are outlandish but neither are true everyone has their own experience everyone comes to experience different things within their reality so definitely something that I wish they told me and I'm telling you now self-love doesn't make you selfish being on this spiritual journey self-love is something that showed up continuously for me until I actually embraced it and stopped putting other people before myself so this is something that I had to really unlearn when it comes to loving myself and putting myself first and my needs first is that it doesn't make you selfish. I think that the society that we live in, the reality that we live in is constantly making us feel like when we put ourselves first or when we really love ourselves to the fullest capacity, it makes us selfish. And not to say that there isn't like a fine line between that, but 
it's really important to embrace that self-love that you have for yourself so that you know when it is time to check back in with yourself and give love to yourself rather than giving it um, so much so externally or out outwardly yeah self-love does not make you selfish i think it is a very very key component to walking this path walking a spiritual path and lifestyle is to embrace your self-love is don't fear what you don't understand so there's a lot of things that on um, this journey that I have come to find that I don't really understand and when I first started walking this path there were things that I didn't understand and because I didn't understand them I kind of had a fear-based mindset around them. I'll give you an example um, creating an altar and connecting with my ancestors. This was something that I didn't quite understand when I first started this journey, when I first started walking this path. And so it was something that I kind of feared and that I kind of placed judgment upon others because it was something that I didn't quite know uh, in my beginning stages, which most people do when they don't understand something. It's very easy for them to place judgment uh, on others. So one very important thing is to not fear something and don't place judgment on something that you don't quite understand. Give yourself time to adapt, to gain an understanding of the things that you don't really quite know yet and allow those things to come to you and then release that fear that you had. Um, before and that's what I had to learn is to you know come to an understanding of how important it was to create an altar and create a relationship with my ancestors and to not be afraid of that power that literally lives within me inside of me uh, to connect with them and to embrace that power and magic that I have within my spiritual nature so yes do not fear what you do not understand have accept your gifts and your powers similar to kind of what i was saying there are certain things that will come up on your journey on your spiritual journey where you'll realize that you're really gifted that you are blessed in certain ways and you're very intuitive or you're very connected whatever your gifts are for you these are things that, you know, sometimes I do take time to accept because maybe, uh, like speaking for myself, my gifts were something that I didn't really embrace when I first encountered them. They were something that I had to kind of start to be like, okay, this is who I am. This is intuitive, uh, pathic, sensitive to energy. And these were things that I had to slowly be like, okay, these are gifts that make up who I am as a person. And then slowly these were things that I started to accept about myself. And I think that's something that is, that takes time. But, you know, that's another thing with this journey is like accepting, truly accepting your gifts, uh, the power that lies within you. Uh, people will attempt to deter you. Uh, so this, this one is the simple fact that you will encounter people on your spiritual journey who, one, use their gifts in the wrong way. On my journey, I met a lot of people who were similar to me, who had gifts such as I, and who I could resonate with on a spiritual level, but at the same time, they didn't really walk the same path that I did and what I mean by this is you know you can choose the light or the dark side and or you can choose embracing both of those in duality but that's how I feel I do share light I spread light I consider myself a light worker but I also do know of my dark nature as well because my dark nature was kind of what I was shown before I started to embrace my light and I'm very aware of my dark side 
and um, you know sometimes people choose their dark side completely over their light side. Sometimes this can allow people to want to deter you off of your path or people not understanding why you want to walk the path of spirituality and attempting to deter you in that way and in ways such as magic and using black magic and all of that. So one thing I really have come to realize walking this path is that people will attempt to deter you off of your path to give you alternatives or make you think that you're not walking the right path but really what I've learned and I'm always continuing to learn is that you are the only one who knows what's best for you it's about you what makes you happy what makes you whole what is it that you are supposed to be doing with your life do that and don't allow anyone else to tell you otherwise and your path is your path for a reason and you have the vision that you have for yourself for a reason right it's your vision no one else can see it the way that you can so yes this is something that i've come to realize that people will attempt to deter you when you walk the path of righteousness spirituality equals easy but not really spirituality is not something that makes life completely easy i will say it brings a different perspective a more enlightened perspective a more blissful way of living or aware way of living which sometimes can be to a, jet, a detriment just because being very aware can cause you to go down a loophole of overthinking it can cause you to just be free to really have to hold on to your morality hold on to your virtue and just walk the path of righteousness and do so with with intent Times, you know that's not easy that's not an easy thing because being unaware is much more easier because then you can kind of make up excuses for the reason why you do things certain things whereas when you are spiritual and more enlightened you can't really make up those excuses because you know better and when you know better you do better synchronicities will show up in unexpected ways so with this, like, uh, messages, synchronicities, uh, your connection to spirit shows up in many different ways. And it's something that is very, it's very exciting and it's something that will always be very surprising. At least for me, my, the way my synchronicities show up, the way that spirit shows up for me, has evolved over time. When I first started this journey, spirit would show up for me solely in angel numbers and in like finding feathers or leaves. And now it's evolved into like birds showing up, literally down to the like smallest details, the way that spirit shows up. And sometimes it's in such the smallest details that I, I can almost miss it sometimes and this is something that I wish someone told me because I, I think it would have made me more excited about the journey when I kind of ran away from it in the beginning this way of being this experience of you know having synchronicity show up is something that really allows life to be worth living and it really it brings a lot of beauty to life where life used to be kind of dull for me so yeah synchronicities will show up in unexpected and ways if you heard that, that is <laughs> major confirmation for me because that is exactly what I'm talking about is synchronicities, they show up, confirmations, they show up in ways that are like, com that will completely catch you off guard. Your faith is love. And by this I mean, the idea that our faith 
uh, without having faith, without having faith in a higher power, we are not really experiencing love to the greatest capacity and that faith and love coexist together and with both of these together it really allows for surrender and this is something that I wish I knew because it has kind of going back to the last one it has always been kind of hard for me to surrender kind of difficult for me to see to really hold on to my faith especially in times of hardship and being completely honest this is something that is showing up in my life right now which is why i decided to end on this because this is kind of where i am right now on my journey is really allowing for faith and love to coexist together so that i can learn to surrender because with these two things i have everything that i need all it all it takes is for me to believe in myself to really hold on to the faith that i have and this is something that has been very hard for me on this journey and i feel really grateful but also like challenged during this time to really practice this so yeah this is something that i'm mastering in this time of my life and i'm just really grateful to to be experiencing this and to be learning and to be mastering this part of my journey and yeah those are 10 things i wish they told me about spirituality and i hope something in this kind of resonated with you or gave you a thing that you know you wish someone would tell you while you were on your journey you guys enjoyed this and if you did please like and subscribe to the channel and i will see you guys next time